Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is James from South Texas RC and BRB Racing. This is going to be the, I guess, third segment that I have on the Outcast 4S. In the others, I had the strip differential. And now I was noticing on the jumps on the little tiny ramp, it was nose diving really hard. Even after changing out the shocks to something a little bit different. And let me show you what I got. So, I got a hold of these, and they didn't come with this, of course. I took this from the factory shock, and then, of course, I used the factory spring to make it stronger, and then the spacer. Well, that still isn't good enough. So, today, I went ahead and did the shock with the piece that came with it, the adjuster, the factory spacer here, and I used a spring from a Revo and then the end of course for the Revo where I could use the end of the spring cap retainer so I have not run this truck yet no lies I have not tested this out I can adjust it a little bit up to grab it to where I can loosen the spring a little bit but I had to wind these down pretty far because these are shorter springs so we're gonna go ahead give it a try see what actually happens with this today and then we're also our star of the channel King say hi to everybody all right King say hi you don't want to say hi there is the hi all right let's get this underway so like good idea King okay good deal all right I've got the little mini jump ramp out Truck on is ready. King is under his safe space under the truck from flying RC cars, ready for his show. You ready for the show, King? King, you ready for the show? All right. Okay. Excuse the uh, background noise, guys. My neighbor's getting their lawn manicured. They got a service team out there, but there's there are a few, you know, a couple of houses down, so. Won't really affect the audio that much.
steering handling's good at higher speeds, so it doesn't tilt. I was afraid of getting a front end tilt and it wanting to, well not actually a tilt, but too stiff and not have enough of a dip and cause it to have a bad rollover, but it seems to be that it works good on the jumps and it works good for your high speed straightaway. So with that being said, the next upgrade that's going to happen, kind of got a new one of the items I'm getting as a uh, birthday gift here at the end of the month. My wife kind of showed it and let the cat out of the bag because she doesn't uh, know which names of what on my RC stuff. So these are going to get drilled out. Same for back here, and we are putting a light kit on this truck. Hopefully the light kit's cool and it doesn't suck. You never know when you're purchasing, you know, on these online order houses, but we're going to find out. So until next time, guys, this is James from South Texas RC and BRB Racing, and if you like what you see, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. We need more subscribers on this channel, so until next time, guys. Subscribe!